hey uh, welcome back to my channel uh, so this is a shape it and uh, we are used to do a unique design in solidworks and also make sure you will learn something out of this content uh, so we used to cover more of 3d print sheet metal component furniture design so this video is going to be a furniture design which i'm going to add to the playlist so please do check out that and we do have a lot of stuffs over here so uh, please check uh, which i'm making and also if you are new to my channel uh, please do subscribe uh, and select the notification button so that will help you to track my videos in future so without wasting much time let's get start with our uh, new part which have been that, I mean like you have seen in the thumb line so this is the part uh, so I have seen in the internet like uh, so I thought of making this um, a product of, for a table like and how to make for a manufacturing or a CNC cut to make a hole and fixation because I have received a couple of uh, commands in the before videos like how to fix so this I'm gonna cover at the end of the video uh, before that like uh, let me show you this like how to make uh, first of all uh, let's start with a new part very basic uh, new part as you know like you can press file new and you go on with the part if you are new uh, you can also learn in my previous video like how to start the new parts everything so now I'm gonna select the front line I'm gonna select uh, the sketch center line infinite length so I'm gonna do this center lines uh, it's very basic if you are in SOLIDWORKS like you have to learn more then please do command uh, in the uh, box uh, like if you are looking for a very basic solid box so that I can make a separate play a playlist for that to create individual a uh, future sketch surface uh, for you guys uh, so yeah for now I'm gonna make a sketch yes it's, it's a rough profile as you have seen already i know the dimensions so uh, it was quite easy for me uh, to maintain the same but uh, it's going to be a rough dimension here uh, all the time you can change as per your need and as per your requirement uh, but here i'm going to show you a very uh, basic uh, uh, rough value it's all in mm uh, so you can also maintain the mm or inch whatever you want guys you can do that so I'm gonna make this both asymmetric so this pad is now constrained so I've maintained some thousand and two hundred was the height of the table uh, yeah and you can also still more you can make I'm gonna make extrudes to 300 you can select the future extrude 300 yeah perfect so now uh, we have to make up inner cut or inner removal part so for that i'm gonna make sure i should always maintain some uh, a boundary or a wall thickness some 30 on the bob and 40 uh, in the bottom but to have some more strength and in the top also if you want again as i said it's it's up to you guys like how how you want you can create by yourself oh my god okay perfect so this this gonna be tangent oh my god oops okay well, so let me delete this i'm gonna make uh, some 120 and I'm gonna make this to 18 yep and uh, for now what I will do I will just create a tangential to this perfect and tangent this to be tangent initial to that in the top profile to be this perfect I don't know if what's the issue. Okay, maybe I can even make this to more um, simplified model. The probability is yes, because of that, what happens? 
perfect so uh, I can't do mirror because it will be uh, uh, um, opposite to that like uh, for that again I'm gonna draw uh, same kind of a profile uh, over here yes so this too I just want to create a, a parallel and from this center to the center again 120 yeah makes sense and let it be a tangent to this I don't know always this is an issue yeah uh, so that it will go back along with that yeah properly constrained so this looks good for us so now uh, we are gonna come out from the sketch I'm gonna select x2 to all and okay yeah so very basic things are ready now you have to play with the fillets uh, one thing is like you just maintain your all the corners as a uh, very smooth and uh, now this especially this corner you have to make oh my god yes mm -hmm. Better be if you do have a filter, you can select always. Selecting yes, gonna be a challenge. Similarly, you have to do this. Else, you can do one thing, okay. Fifteen. Okay, perfect. Yeah. See, if you want to select, you can also use the filters filter option could be there uh, so then I can uh, select the edge and then select by easily mm, good what says let's let's make 2020 I also will try to maintain this and this 10 15 should be fine, yes. Let's make 15 over here. Okay, and let's have a very smooth profile now. So there's no issue at all. Like we can see here, like in the way. Yeah, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a cut. So you have to select your front plane and go for uh, extrude uh, cut for that i just need a one triangle profile I want to maintain 10 mm thickness and 10 mm cut. This also you can define by yourself as per your size of the product. And go for an extrude cut and through all both. I'm gonna select OK and select all the bodies. So now this cut I just want to maintain for all. So I'm gonna select the plane which right plane. Yes, this is how it has to go. And you have to make it 20. So 10 plus 10, 20 that you can do for 50 okay yeah 15 should be fine and i will select all the bodies which i want and similarly you can also do one thing like you can select very close to that Let's see if the mirror comes, so we can use that mirror of that particular area. See, it's very close to that. It is, is exactly cut on that particularly. So, either uh, we'll eliminate this one. Um, that betters for us to work on this because anyway, we have very coverage. So, flat surface always need to make a hole uh, to make sure that. So, we'll eliminate that. Uh, for now and uh, 
gonna delete. Placing this option, delete body, and I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna show you all. So this is how it looks, and you can go with that. Or you can also play with the all up to you and you can also delete this and then you can keep the same and then you can go for it so number of uh, sets will be there you can calculate your total length and accordingly you can make sure you can have the left and right are the same so for now uh, i'm gonna show you like how to fix and how to handle this uh, parts when you do the laser cut or a cnc cut so always remember one thing like you have to make sure you should have some proper hold okay so i'm gonna roughly make this here uh since we maintain 30 mm from the top so we'll maintain a 15 and i'm gonna create a, a hole to connect all the parts so for, for now we will create a three holes since that will have more impact uh yes from this surface i just like to have okay let it be a, a 15 mm hole size that should be more than enough so totally uh, we will maintain 50 at the end and also the same way here 50 and if you want you can maintain 12 mm rod that also should be fine and if you feel like it depends like you have to make a hole but depends on like which one you would like to have throw all both and uh, that will create and hold the holes on the whole side yes perfect so now what you have to do here we can connect a kind of a shaft which can use but intermediate what you have to do is you have to use one kind of a, a bush or a spacer let me explain for this one since you have to maintain a washer so let me yeah, let me tell you like this you have to do extrude with the same hole size but you can also create an a clearance and you can just go for some a 5 mm offset and you can create an extrude and up to the surface so now you should remove the major result so that you will not end up with a more i mean like you will not end up with a single body so here now you have a spacer but when you see here it has hole through hole but you have to maintain this one i will isolate and show you this is how the spacer looks you can give the clearance accordingly how to maintain your space thickness like how much you want it should be a 10 which we have given cut the same thing have maintained here so uh, likewise you can uh, shift uh, the same way how many parts you want you can also always go for it and select the body and select this spacers similarly it will go up to here and i'm going to select okay yeah it's all came here right so, so the spaces are ready now so now what you have to do like you have to go for a a, a single shaft Again, similarly, you can just create one uh, offset. Offset. Okay, maybe uh, one uh, one thing we can do, like we can convert this entities. Uh, yes, and you can want to create an extrude, especially uh, up to the surface. Since this up to the surface, we will not merge anywhere. Yeah, the shaft is ready, and the shaft for this we have to make a collar. Uh, let me explain yeah yeah let it be five again uh, this also let it be five and this also let it be five and i'm gonna merge only with three bodies with help of again same extrude a uh, five mm or even 10 mm it depends on your uh, need uh, you're gonna select which body this all three shafts which i want to merge yes done so now we have connected isolate perfect so what you have to do here uh, let me show you this let me take your uh, uh, laser cut 
which you are planning to do that let me isolate so you have to make sure there is a shaft and the spacer and then you have to bring the next plate likewise you have to arrange for the top so everything is ready at the top but only thing if you notice on the bottom since we have done a cut so the bottom also to be covered in that case like what you have to do like which is the connecting part here so here it gets started this connecting point so this all it will be held holder but from here it starts like you know which needs support from the top so only here we have to create such hole so let me put uh, isolate so to grab this first of all so let me uh, take an example of how much you it needs to create a similar way so again it, if you need you can also create the three hole else go for a two hole yeah so uh, i'm gonna create a hole with the same size uh, i'm gonna use the same uh, parting line i mean like not a parting like the same center uh, hole which has been considered for the bottom also since you know that uh, it's a 40 so I'm gonna make a 10 or 15 again same we'll try to maintain 15 and else if we can move to 20 also since we, in the bottom we have up to 40 double thickness yes and this two should be like this exactly now uh, what I will do I will let me check like how it looks yeah it's almost very close to that is perfect and now we can go for an extrude cut should cut up to uh, this profile since it's all uh, got connected no it's all we have to connect in the bottom up to the surface yes similarly you can connect the bottom plate also by help of this and spain spacer instead of that this uh, this head will be come over here so all is ready so uh, this also we have connected only thing is this region we have so similarly what you can do here you have to play with your hole so the angle of the hole will be like this but you can do it in CNC like how you want but if you also make a, a free hole like you can do that actually else you have to merge with all the parts so uh, it's gonna be only the area where we have a challenge with this particular region so uh, what I request like you it's uh, gonna be a small part so I, I will always recommend to go with a one single unit it's it's not going to support it's going to be a play with the aesthetic so uh, all the time you just make sure it should be 75 and also this one will make it as a line and this two R should be equal and uh, now we go for 78 yes okay good so you see uh, if you feel like I'm going I'm running or rushing you can always slow down my video in the autoplay uh, you can just go for a setting and see how much you want to slow down my video if if at all the people are new very new to SOLIDWORKS they can do that actually and I'm going to select this now use this option up to surface I've selected but I don't want like this I would want like it has to go as per angle as per the direction either one or two you can decide by yourself so now uh, if you see so overall we have done like you know uh, the connection this is how they may use in your furniture or wherever you see such kind of design they could have used a spacer in between of the each uh, plate and finally they will connect with a rod so hopefully uh, like you guys have liked my video uh, please do subscribe like i'm requesting it will be like great help and motivate me to do uh, much more stuffs uh, especially in the solid works thanks for watching uh, we'll see you soon in the next video so we are almost reached 100k i mean uh, thousand uh, subscribers not 100k but that will be definitely you know, gonna be a future goal for me so uh, we have reached and we are now a thousand uh, family i have uh, so uh, always i need your blessing and then support always thank you bye bye